Hello, everybody. So the goal of this uh, Adalo Experts video today is to show what it's like for a prospective client who wants to submit a, a, a project request to an Adalo expert, what it actually looks like from their side. The goal of this should be uh, to allow experts to make sure that they're tuning their public facing persona and microsite to be as competitive as possible to getting the the business from the prospective client, as well as to um, make the expert empathize with what the experience is for the client so that they understand what the client's expectations are so they can fit to conform to it. So most of the uh, prospective clients will find the Adalo experts through the Adalo homepage. On the Adalo homepage, we have multiple spots where prospective clients can be identified with an expert. Of course, we have this main one up here at the top, hire an expert. But we also have spots, uh, for example, under uh, solutions, there's hire an expert. You can scroll down and you'll see there's a few spots here uh, as well. Um, here, hire, hire an expert. And we're really trying to push the experts. The more you know, you're going to keep seeing places grow for this. We're doing higher experts in our email outreaches. Adalo sees um, the experts program and freelancers in general as being integral to unlocking our makers, because many makers might have a step or two that they're unable to complete in the creation of their uh, Adalo apps, which can be unlocked by an expert. Um, or many uh, prospective clients might be intrigued to be building on Adalo, but haven't yet gone through the learning curve and you need help in building or coaching. We're trying to push Adalo traffic to the Adalo experts, and that's why we have this many places. We expect, of course, most clients will probably come through our, our main uh, call to action, hire an expert button. And what this main page, this landing page does, is it basically just describes the Adalo Experts program and tries to familiarize the prospective client with what the program is about. You'll see in most places here, it's about getting um, basically every click goes to a page of working with an expert. You know, so here's hire an expert uh, here as well. You know, check out the calculator for what the app will cost. Here's a lead gen form. This lead gen form is going to be paired with an expert who uh, is going to be meeting certain criteria in terms of like say budget and also having a certain uh, ranking of quality so that we are expecting the expert to be giving a certain level of positive experience to the client. Now we are expecting most uh, most client prospective clients will probably go to this find an expert page and uh, we're excited because we've just released this new filters sidebar which really allows for a more elegant pairing mechanism between prospective clients and experts now if like say I am a English speaking a person with a bit of a budget who wants to build my app on a Xano backend well what can I do I can go down and look at the tool of Xano. I can take a look at budget. Okay, there's a few ones. Maybe I want to make sure that this is someone who speaks uh, English. And here we go. Now I've got a couple different options of people who can build my Xano backend for a price that I can afford in a language I speak. Wonderful. Things like this were super hard before, and now it's super easy. Now what this does mean, though, if you're an Adalo expert, you want to be making sure that all of your information is as correct as possible so that you're being indexed in a way that maximally shows your skill set. Now, what does it actually take to be ranked as high as possible here on uh, the Adalo homepage? Well, for one, there's a little bit of randomity that we instill to make sure that uh, people within a certain bracket of uh, a bracket of ranking can appear, you know, anywhere basically between the first, uh, the top two or three pages. We want us to like make sure that you know different experts have a chance to be either space in the sun, and like twice a week we just basically kind of like uh, do a, a small variable that can allow that that changing to happen. While we also look at things like quality of experience, number of happy customers, um, professionalism, both on page 
and known professionalism, and uh, how the expert is presenting themselves. So let's take a look at who's in number one today, Upcode. This is a design agency that's been uh, recent to the Dial Experts program. It's been doing some really great work. So what you can see is, for one, they've designed their page beautifully. They've done this like a nice uh, GIF that's really attractive. Anybody can do a, a, a GIF. Um, for their, their page, just make sure it's less than two megabytes. You can see that they've filled everything out uh, in a nice, a nice way that's clean and attractive. And then what I really love is when experts put direct links to web apps so that prospective clients can just like, go to a web app as soon as quickly, they can open it, they can take a look at the app in front of them and they know exactly the sort of caliber of expert they're working with. If you have a great, more beautiful page that's totally, that's filled out with all the services you have, that's very visually attractive, that shows progressive web apps, you will rank higher. So please make sure you do that and just reach out to the Adalo Experts team. A certain amount of uh, updating profiles right now is done manually, so just feel free to reach out to the Adalo Experts team and we'll update things for you. I'm happy to uh, update this stuff as much as possible because it makes for a better experience. Now, once you have a professional page and you're um, being ranked in a fair way, then you should also kind of be empathizing with how is it the the expert, the, the prospective clients are actually reaching out. So for one, think of the kind of like three different personas of prospective clients. So one is going to come here, they're going to come here and they're just going to scroll to the bottom and go, you know what, you pair with me. And Adalo tries to pair this as fairly as possible, like I described before, it's being done by people who are like in the right budget, people who've done with a certain like, you know, ranking that we calculate, knowing like the quality of experience. Well, there's like a little bit of randomity to make sure this is going fair as well. So some people just want to be paired and Adalo pairs for them. Now, another type is going to really deep dive into every single filter. They're going to be looking at all of the options and they're going to try to find that exact one person that one expert who is going to be the one they want to work with and they're going to send one lead and that's a, a great opportunity for the expert because you know they've been chosen. The final kind of persona is someone who is going to be trying to shop around. So they'll probably do like a default uh, text for their the, the project proposal submission and they might send it to like you know everybody on the front page or everybody who meets some criteria. You know for example like when I had done my uh, Zeta one I you know, had a couple of filters going on and maybe I am going, well, actually all these guys are within my price range. They're doing the service I, I'm interested in. Uh, they speak uh, the language I'm speaking, so maybe I'll send one to each of them. And uh, then it's a bit of a competition from the experts for how they close. But competition is good. And what I'll say is to remember two things. One, that doing any form of um, working with clients is a little bit of a a uh, little bit of a, a race. So, you know, you want to be able to be out of the gate as fast as possible. So when a lead comes in, it's really great to be having um, a notification going to you that allows you to respond quickly in something like a message of like, thank you for your uh, response. I see the uh, app you're looking at doing and I've done apps similar. Here's an example uh, or, or two. It would be great to talk about this on person. Um, on, on, online, why don't you reach out to me over this Calendly link and we set up a time to talk in the next day or so. I'm excited to get going on this. Please let me know. You know, signed a dollar expert. So uh, the faster you reach out, the more professionally you reach out, the clearer the call to action, the more professional you store, ranked as highly as possible because you're doing great services, making customers happy. Well, you're going to start finding like leads coming in. We find that there's often a self-reinforcing feedback loop between those who are, you know, giving the best quality of service to then keep getting getting more more project submissions from experts. Thank you for your time. And uh, if there's any way, any any tips you have, please feel free to reach out to the Adalo Experts program to make sure that we're sharing your tips with the uh, rest of the Adalo Experts. And take a look and see actually the sort of product that uh, users, that, that the Adalo Expert has made, because this is a really fast way to go, you know, okay, can he actually build what I, Want. I'm sure all of you Alexers have seen that ro this rotating page. So you can see that this expert, CyberGoGo, has done like a really great job. We're, we're already in an app. We can see what's going in. We can uh, sign up very quickly. Barrett at adalo123.com. Please don't uh, break into my super secret login. 
And uh, hey, look, there's like actually like a pretty good app here. You know, if I was wanting a gym app, I would certainly be considering. Okay, so maybe I do want a. Uh, oh, okay, we don't need to be here anymore. You can see the idea. Um, so then if we are looking for a gym app, we can see that these guys are quite good at it. The budget looks on point. And maybe what we do is we go uh, name Barrett Nash, email Barrett at adalo.com, select timeline. I'm fast, but I don't want to be too fast. I do have a budget, but not a, uh, a huge budget. And uh, I'd like there to be a uh, full service app design and build. Uh, I am looking for building a gym app. Your shred fast app looks great, and I would like something similar. Would you be able to hop on a call? P.S. This is a test from Barrett. Gotta be clear, right? Okay, so then you send in a request, and uh, what happens now is that an email is sent to the expert, and the expectation is, from the client is that the expert will reach out to the maker. Um, and if you get a lead from a Dallo, please be clear that it's expected that the next step is waiting for you. Right now, the maker is um, you know, sh sitting there waiting, and the faster an expert gets to them, while this is on their mind, the uh, more likely it is to have a good conversion success. Uh, we even have one of our experts, one of our best experts, uh, uh, Upcode, a uh, uh, full house agency, and what they say is that uh, they'd like to be able to respond to leads within 20 minutes of them coming in, because they find that if you respond while the lead is still on the maker's mind, then it's uh, so much easier to close because you're not reintroducing to them their own idea, you're actually just grabbing onto it. Now, I said that there's three different ways people put expert leads in. So the first one was um, they just go and do the general quest. The second one is that they go, the maker goes and searches for the perfect expert. But then the third one is that uh, an expert might be trying to, a maker might be trying to uh, check price or see different uh, expert options. And what we can see is that sometimes clients will go through and they'll put the same lead on many uh, experts. This can sometimes be a little bit frustrating for experts because it means that they're not sure if that they're uh, being selected and being specialized on or if it's just something that is kind of like a phishing attempt. But every lead is great and what you should be thinking of is that this isn't uh, a challenge but rather an opportunity. And how do you actually make your profile as competitive as possible? And also, like you know, sometimes it's like uh, it's like chance. Sometimes you've got to, uh, you know, statistically, sometimes you've got to flip a few coins to get the, pro the results you want. But the more you play, the more likely you are to win. Um, but for sure, having the best, most strong, beautiful profile with great apps that uh, take you, um, that are able to showcase your skill. Uh, towards the services you offer in a clear and direct way are going to infect conversions. And try to empathize with the client. Imagine if you were in their shoes, getting a fast response from a professional who feels like they've done this a hundred times and is going to take care of their needs, no sweat. It's exactly what experts want to do and that's what you can offer. Thank you guys. And uh, as always, if there's any uh, ideas or feedback, feel free to reach out to experts at adalo.com to uh, uh, communicate with me and we'll make sure that we're always offering the best, most up-to-date advice on the Adalo Extras program.